So Dre, let me throw this one out. What do you think it's going to take for Harbaugh to keep his job? And what would it take for him to keep his job if you were in charge? Oh, I like that question. I like that question. So that there's there will be a difference in my answer uh, because I, I, I believe expectations are different. You know, I, I think uh, given the like I said, you know, the significance that Harbaugh has and ties that Harbaugh has in their program, I think if he, if he can find some way to get to eight and four this season, um, maybe even seven to five. But I, gosh, I hope at least the eight and four, eight and four this season. I think he saves his job. In my world. I don't really care about the win number. I care more or less about, uh, I'll say, beating Ohio State and getting to the Big Ten title. You know, if that if it takes 10 wins to do it, great. If it takes 11 to do it, great. I, I, I just, and I, that may not be fair. I understand that given the, the how bad last season is. I understand that, you know, and the roster turnover and coaching staff turnover. I understand all those things. But I'm sorry, guys. This is, this is year seven. This is year seven. You know, what you're asking me to do is to give this guy grace. I'm okay with doing that. I'm a fair person, a fair fan. But you have you have to prove to me that you deserve that grace because you have proven that you can deliver the goods. Right? I'll give you an example. Brian Kelly. Brian, people talk about Harbaugh shaking up the coaching staff this past offseason. They use what Brian Kelly did at Notre Dame as an, an example of how well it can turn out. Well, don't forget, Brian Kelly in 2013 got Notre Dame to the national title game. Now, Alabama blew their doors off, okay, but they got there, right? He delivered the goods. He, he, he took that program to different heights. Yeah, and things turned, and, you know, soured, and then he had to, re, you know, reshuffle things up, but he had proven that he can do it. Harbaugh has not proven he can do it. So I'm not going to give him the grace and the trust. He has to, you know, that so that that's where I'm at. Uh, and, and that's why I'll need to see something dramatically different. If, if Michigan goes out and wins nine games, would that be better than expectations that, that many people have for him in the season? Of course. But in the grand scheme of things, it's no different than Harbaugh's best seasons here. So why should I think he can do more, right? What are we really trending towards is besides, uh, you know, this is what Harbaugh normally does here. You know what I'm saying? So th th that's kind of the way I look at it. Desmond, obviously, you can uh, jump in on those as well if if you've got any take on that. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm as far as what it will take for him to keep his job. I I agree. I think eight wins will be enough um, because I I just feel like it's not a it's not a failure or embarrassment to to Michigan overall, right? There's fans that do have the the expectation of we should beat Ohio State. We should go to the Big Ten championship and we should compete for a, a college football playoff spot. Um, but, you know, it, it, it'd be vastly different than like, a, you know, four and eight type of season, uh, which, you know, you, you kind of extrapolate out last year, which essentially would have been that. Um, for me, I, I just the what I'll say is I like the trend that I'm seeing so far is, you know, Big Ten Media Day, you know, you had guys talking about culture. You know, they talked about just putting the work in, stacking the days, like things that you that lead to winning. Uh, because, you know, so often as uh, as fans and outsiders, we look at the end result of, well, did you win or lose on Saturday? Because that's all that really matters, which is very true. But the way you get there is by putting in the work on, you know, Monday through Friday. So as long as those guys are, are doing those things and, and saying the right things um, because, you know, they had big 10 media day where they said the right things. And especially defensively, they've come out and, and done the right things. You know, they played fast. Um, you know, the, the team has stuck together. They've, they've played well and, and they have two, you know, two wins. And uh, to have a zero in the loss column is, is big, you know, at this point of the year, there's a lot of teams that, you know, have a one or a two. So they're definitely trending in the right direction. Um, I just, for me, I would, I probably need to see 10 wins um, because I, I, I think Michigan's ceiling is beating Ohio state uh, representing the big 10, you know, being the big 10 champion and competing for uh, uh, college football playoff positions, because 
you look at the administration and the athletic department, they're, they don't spare an expense. Uh, they are legitimately giving Jim Harbaugh everything that he asked for when it comes to, you know, recruiting, uh, facilities. You know, you've got a fan base that uh, literally you have 100,000 people in that stadium every single week. Um, you know, you look at the, the maze out last, last week, that the atmosphere there was just unreal. And it, and to me, that shows the dedication of a fan base that you have. And that's, that's part of what is needed as well to, you know, to really compete and, and be, a um, you know, to be in that national championship conversation. So I, I just look at it and, and there, there are no internal hurdles that Harbaugh has to, has to, to, to jump. You know, he's got an administration that is about winning. They may not be, you know, is dialed in as far as, you know, what is what all is going on in college football. But as far as giving him the tools that he needs, giving him the facilities that he needs, um, you know, like I said, with recruiting budgets, things like that, like there there's just there's no reason that you're not there outside of, you know, your coaching and philosophy and, and the preparation and development of the players that you get on campus. Um, you know, I've said it as well that, you know, Michigan, they are they're their programming the eyes of recruits is still elite because you look at five-star guys that want to come here. You look at four-star guys that want to come here and that are, you know, coming on visits and things like that. Like it, they still have the right perception. Uh, so they, so literally everything is there. And, you know, for me, I, that that's just the expectation. I, I do expect them to essentially be what Ohio state is. And, you know, this year aside of winning the big 10 and, and we have a shot to get in the, the playoff every year. I just don't I don't see anything in the way of Michigan outside of, you know, themselves and the and the head coach.